Today I'll be running through an analysis of Valkyria, a brand new roller coaster coming to Leesburg as part of a two year expansion to the section of the park by Balder. Now this is a 2018 roller coaster, so already we're seeing some announcements for 2018, even though 2017 isn't here. And even though we've only seen a couple of 2018 announcements, already 2018 is shaping up to be a better year for roller coasters than 2017. But let's talk about Valkyria. So if you haven't been to Leesburg, which probably most of you watching this video haven't, you can find this park in Gothenburg, Sweden. Now starting with 2017, they're gonna begin this 30 million US dollar expansion by opening up an 8,000 square meter area by Balder. This entire area is gonna be themed to Norse mythology and they're kicking it off with a new ride called Loke. This is your pendulum type ride. Think of something like Max Air or Delirium. And this looks pretty sweet. It's gonna be a little under 100 feet tall and it's gonna be the gyro swing model and it's actually replacing the spin rock ride. And it certainly looks to be a great addition to the park. These rides are sweet, and from what I've heard, this is actually going to have lap bars, not an over-the-shoulder harness. I can't confirm that, but that is what I have heard. Now, discussing the name, according to Leesburg, Loke was the most treacherous and devious of all of the giants of Asgard. And actually, Baldur is a giant from Asgard as well, so it continues on with this theme... And I think what Leesburg is going for here is that Loke and Balder are kind of battling it out, which really works because they're right next to each other. The park claims that the ride will swing up to an arc angle of 120 degrees, and then will swing you down at 62 miles per hour. It certainly sounds like a great addition to the park, but let's move on to the following year, which is when they are bringing in a B&M dive coaster that will be replacing their current roller coaster, Kanonen. Now, a lot of people are kind of sad that Kanonen is leaving. However, that ride was kind of redundant when they built Helix. So I'm hoping what they'll do is actually send Kanonen to some other park in Europe so the ride doesn't completely just get scrapped. But supposedly Kanonen will close at the end of 2017 so that they can remove it and in its spot will be Valkyria. This is the longest dive coaster in Europe, about 2,296 feet long. It's got a height of 154 feet with a drop of 164 feet. Its maximum speed is 65 miles per hour, and we know that it will include a tunnel. However, it has not been stated if the ride will have any inversions. A point of view has not been released. We only have a few ride renderings, and so the ride does have that gold and silver color scheme. I think it looks so cool. Now, as we know, there are plenty of other dive coasters in Europe. So comparing this to the other ones, Oblivion has a bigger drop by 16 feet, Valkyria will be taller than Oblivion the Black Hole by about 15 feet, and it will have a taller drop than Baron 1898 by about 20 feet. So it doesn't have the biggest drop of a dive coaster in Europe, but it does take the record for the longest. An angle of descent has not been released yet. I'm going to assume it's 90 degrees. If it's not, then it's probably pretty close. But it looks to be a very solid ride. It's going to have a capacity of 1,100 riders per hour. It's going to have three trains, each holding 18 passengers, three rows. That means there are six riders across. So it's not got one of those larger seating arrangements like a coaster like Valraven or Griffin. If you look at some of the other European dive coasters, those also have six across seating, so this is going to be one of those. But I think Leesburg is easily shaping up to be one of the best parks in Europe. Their theming is great. The theming for this ride looks so cool. And when you put this coaster right up there with Helix and Balder, those two rides already made an incredible top two. Now they have a great top three. And while dive coasters are one-trick ponies, this will be the only one of its kind anywhere near it. And I think it really is going to thrill riders. The general public are going to love it. And it may not be the largest dive coaster out there. But I'm not going to completely judge it because we don't have a full layout. We don't even know how many inversions it's going to have. We know it will feature at least one because you can see a little bit of it in the corner of this concept art. I'm going to assume that's either an Immelman or a dive loop. So there's at least one of those. My guess is there might be another one, but Leesburg has not commented on how many inversions it will have. We will just have to wait and see. Remember, this coaster is 2018, so that we've still got a ways to go. I imagine that they'll release a ride animation sometime next year. But I think it's going to be a great fit for their park. I think once you toss in all of that great theming, this ride is really going to shape up to be a real contender for best dive coaster in Europe. 
And you already have some dive coasters with great theming. Look at Baron 1898. So I'm excited to see how immersive this roller coaster is, as well as the rest of the area around it. So while I think some of us will miss Kanonen, in general, I believe that this is a major improvement for Leesburg. So I want to hear about your thoughts of Valkyria as well as Loke. Post all of those thoughts in the comment section below and make sure you stay tuned for future coaster analyses, which will all be posted to this channel when more roller coasters are announced. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure to do that and I will catch you guys next time.